accessory and edgy Ed Morrison here. Today I'm making jalapeno poppers. Freshly picked from my organic chemical free garden. Stay tuned. Taking the pepper, first I'm cutting off the stem, getting some of the seeds out of there. And I'm cutting it long ways, in the half. You might want to wear gloves, I'm not too worried about it. Use red or green, doesn't matter. They're both pretty good. Now optional, you can remove the seeds if you want. Personally, I like them in there. Hey, it's a fire. Now add the jalapenos to boiling water for about 30 seconds. Get them a bit tender. And then immediately put them into ice water. Like so. Stop the cooking process. Place them onto paper towels. Can we get all the water off of them? Now I'm making a cheese mixture, that's so called Mexican cheese, even though they don't really have that kind of cheese in Mexico. That's about a cup and eight ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese. Monterey Jack and Cheddar is so called Mexican cheese. Stir it around. Now add the mixture to the halved jalapenos. Put the top on, put them together. One more time. Stuff it right in there. And then top it, press hard. Make sure they stick together. Take out the excess so it doesn't overflow while you're frying them. Jalapenos are very healthy. Now, add canola oil to a skillet to about 375. Now I'm dipping them in buttermilk. I usually use eggs when I'm frying. I've never used buttermilk before. It didn't turn out the way I expected it, but they were pretty good. Now I'll toss it in flour. This is self-rising flour. Make sure it's evenly coated. Now dip them back into buttermilk. And breadcrumbs. They stick better using eggs, but oh well. Now place them in the frying pan skillet for about 30 seconds or so. For a minute. Nom, 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 nom